So we're here to find out what it takes to make a world championship winning set of darts. So I've got Lee Huxtable, Red Dragon production director, world champion Wayne Warren. So let's dive straight in. And you had your new darts made by Lee just outside two weeks before the event. Yeah, yeah, I think it was middle, middle of December, I think. I, I, I spoke to Lee in Merthyr, and um, that was in November. And obviously he was he was away, so he couldn't do them then. And I, had him, I think I received them second week, second week in December. And um, so I had about three weeks to prepare, really. So Lee, you made Wayne's original darts, which were seventeen gram. Yeah, they were seventeen point five grams actually. The, the the ones he made for me originally. So what, why the why the point five? Well, I think. When, when, probably over 10 years ago, Wayne? When we've, when yeah, we've yeah, it was, in. yeah, we just said 10 years, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. He probably started off a, a, probably around 19, 20 gram, but you'd had them for so long. I remember they were copper tungsten, so you would get a that's lot of right, weight. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of the material weighs away, so that's what you were at currently playing at at the time. So and, and the thought process there is you've got a really old set of darts and you really need to be able to change if they got lost or well yeah I, and I wanted a set made <laughs> it, it was it was hard work really because I was trying to explain to Lee what they were looked like and this that and we tried them teen times and till we got it right and it says why well, I'd rather and he blasted the, the to make it look like an old set of darts like and is um, that is that down to feel then Lee is that what does the shot blast do yeah totally um Wayne's original darts were made with copper tungsten, which back in the 70s, most darts were made with copper tungsten. And basically, the sort of sweat in your, fin in the, in your fingers can erode away the copper, and it leaves like a pitted surface. Well, nowadays, darts are made out of uh, nickel tungsten, uh, which yeah. is a lot shinier, uh, smoother. So we had to kind of rep replicate the surface finish of uh, Wayne's worn copper tanks and darts. So the first thing you need to get right between you is is the feel of the dart feel before it. you even look at the profile, the weight. So we got the feel right. Yeah. And so how did you approach then getting the dimensions of the dart that Wayne wanted? Well, you came down to down to the workshop in Bridgend with yeah, Alan's right. Band, I, I with Alan it was I yeah and um, it, it was it was like. It was like a guess. I knew where the dart was because I had the, the darts for so long, but I, obviously I lost them. And we drew up a few things, how, how they looked like and that. And as I said, it took a bit of time and a bit of feel. And then, well, I, once we got it right, we got and that was it. Like, and they were, well, to be honest, they were actually identical to the ones I had. So, so how did you know? Was it an instant feeling? So once Lee had made you that original set, how quickly did you know that they were I right? Knew, I knew more or less straight away, really, um, because... <laughs> when you had a dart, set of darts for so long, it's it's you know, you know really you know, you know everything. And is that just and literally stood up, couple of throws, and you know they're right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when when he made them and then he put the nails in them and like my nails were only half up and we added one or two on, took one or two off, and then till we got it where I hold the dart, and then well. <laughs> So, we so tried a few different uh, pitches on the grooves, different width grooves to get the right feel. Um, and when we did, I remember the day when we did sort of go for quite a narrow groove, quite close together. That's right, which yeah, you yeah. Less ag of an aggressive grip, just where we wanted it. And then obviously we had to go down the shot, shot blast finish then to get that pitted surface. And um, yeah, it was one of the easier players that we've uh, we've fitted actually so in the workshop. When you're fitting multiple variations and then you see uh, the player or pro whoever it is go to the board, what signals are you looking for that you, you're getting your job right for the player? Um, a 180 is always nice. <laughs> if, they, if they throw in a 180, and uh, you can you can always tell the, the, the smile on the face, and you just get out instant. Uh, no, re well, the same as the player. You just know that the, that something is you know heading down the right track. So, by Some the same token, you can kind of get a feeling if you don't think they they like that set. Yeah. Um, on occasions, we'll say right, take these away. Come back in two or three weeks if you need any tweaks. But I think in Wayne's case, uh, we're pretty confident that we nearly. Yeah, yeah, straight away. Yeah, be honest, like. So, so the evolution then. We've got the perfect seventeen gram set. 
fast forward however many years and you've always stuck by the same dart. And then you're faced with the problem that these darts, head of the world championship, they're not quite right for you. Yeah, I, I, I obviously I had that accent on my on my wrist today. So um, with the darts I had there, when I went back, it was six weeks out, and I just found they, they were way too light for me. Like, and is that is that because you'd lost some strength in the arm? Or obviously it must have. So I think in my head, I I I, I needed that little bit heavier heavier dart. So I, I so obviously I spoke to Lee and asked him and um but you uh, wanted them to be in the same dimension didn't you exactly the same exactly so the how, same how do you approach that given that the more tungsten you add the, the bigger the dart gets so uh, we uh, basically with wayne start when we started off because it was such a lightweight um we were using um 85 percent tungsten so it was fairly straightforward um, in going up to 90% tungsten, it's a lot denser material, so you can make the same uh, same dimension dart at a higher weight. So that's what we did with this one, is um, make them out at 90%. Um, I remember Wayne saying that the darts were dropping slightly low, dropping yeah. just below the treble. Generally, if uh, if you increase the weight, it gives a lot more inertia of the dart in the air, so it'll la land a little bit further up in the board. So. Yeah, we settled on um, two two grams in the end. Two grams, yeah, yeah, to nineteen grams, yeah, and and well, like I said, I I'm really happy with them, absolutely. And was it the same thing for you that that the previous seventeen gram set perfect straight away? How was it when you got your nineteen gram set? Yeah, I, when I had when he done my first set of darts, I, I, yeah, they were really spot on because that's what I asked for. That's what I had, and they were they were perfect. But like I said. <laughs> The weight it must have lost to come out. Well, I expected about 16 grams. I would have said no because I, I never changed them. I kept them, and um, when I had that accident, I'm about oh, no, I, I just these are not the ones for me, and I had to do something because I, I found out in the Grand Slam. I was found out in the Grand Slam, and I, I thought I, I just can't go on like this. So, and as it was, we, we I spoke to Lee over in the, the Leighton East Memorial, and made a good chat, and. I, explained to him what was happening and how they were going and then we decided then to go up to um, a 19 gram dart and but was that almost instant when you got your new set how how they felt yeah I knew straight away I knew straight away as soon as I had these 19s yeah I took them out to me and and um, even my my local boys in the team they, they knew I, I was I wasn't right with the other ones and there was something wrong but as soon as they had these and they see me throw in, they said straight away, so what a of, massive difference. Like, Were you starting to get a bit worried about before you had the new darts? Or? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought I was. I, I, I was like thinking about it. I was, wasn't sleeping tidy. I was thinking about things. How can we, you know, go that downhill a little bit overnight? And, and it's amazing. We're talking about two grams. Oh. Why, why is that? Um, well, I think a big thing of it um, is the mental boost of getting a new set of darts yeah. and, and sort of once you start throwing them and you know you're there right, you just go from strength to strength and the longer you can keep that confidence going, the better. But as I said earlier, the slightly slightly more weight in the dart help to tra helps it travel a little bit further as long as the release is in the same place. The extra, extra inertia in the dart will... Will cut yeah, yeah, yeah. Land it yeah. A bit and same, the same shaft, same flight. Everything's the same. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Yeah, same, same shafts, same flights. Never changed none of them. So it's version no. two of the world championship title. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's. Uh, but there's something quite I, I just, unique you guys are talking about. Is that at the front of the dart you like to have if you explain to everyone a, a sharper yeah a lot of the darts you see like they, they, they chamfer down into nothing and, and well we tried that and i said no I, when i i said to lee i need them like cut off because that's where i put my index finger so, so how do you get round then the dart having a, an ability to not hit the flight on the way in with a straight edge well um like, say, a lot of dart players, they will prefer to have a bit more of a tapered front and maybe even blend it into the point so you can kind of glide past, past the flight as it's going into the board. Um, obviously, with, with Wayne, um, he likes to have his finger resting on the front of the dart, so he wanted to keep that feature. But what I would say is it's an extremely uh, thin dart, so you're not going to get as many clashes yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, in so the board. Some, yeah, the profile um, to help that then. 
Yeah, and you often see with Wayne, he doesn't sort of switch down to 18s or 19s very often. You're very much... Yeah, I want to stay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how um, to switch it for him. And I think, yeah, the way his dart is flying through the air, the sort of parabolic curve then into the treble seems to suit this dart, and he doesn't get the the, um, the deflections that a lot of players do. As you can see from the back of the flights, you know, they're in pretty, pretty good nicks, so it obviously uh, seems to be working. So, to round off... He's made you two perfect sets of darts. <laughs> Can't fault the man. Yeah. Can't fault the man. Brilliant. Simple. World Cheers. Championship set. Thank you Cheers, very much. Jolly bye.